What's up, you gorgeous fat eaters? So today I want to do things a little bit differently. I get a lot of questions about the types of food to eat on a ketogenic diet, the types of food to avoid on a ketogenic diet, you know, where the best places to buy ketogenic friendly food is. Um, and it just perfectly coincides with me needing to go to one of my keto spots, which is Costco. So I'm going to bring you guys along with me, show you a little bit of the things I get and, um, you know, maybe in the future we'll be able to see some of the other places that I get different things from as well. Um, so let's get going. It's super gloomy, if you can't tell from the, the gloomy background, but it's super gloomy outside. So let's try to beat the rain and get going to Costco. Afterwards, after we do the whole Costco haul, I'll probably record here. Maybe I'll record at Costco. We'll see. We'll see. Usually it's too packed there to do that, but um, if I'm able to, I'll do it there. If not, we'll come back and then we'll go over in a little more detail the different things I get, why, and then definitely some things to avoid, especially some things that you may not think you need to avoid, but we'll go over all that afterwards. Let's get going. All right, so we finally found some parking, drove around for about 15, 20 minutes looking. It's pretty wet and cold and Costco is packed, uh, which is pretty typical of Costco. Not so typical of a weekday, but this is a new Costco. It's pretty huge. So hoping to find some good keto hauls here. But first, coffee time. But baby, who you need in me? You been rolling around, shit, I'm rolling up. Let her roll it up. Break it down like a part, she would never us. She would never rot. That's the real on the real, are you serious? All right, guys, good and caffeinated now. About to head into Costco starting to rain here California's supposed to get the most rain it's gotten in 10 years which really isn't much it's rained like five times in the last 10 years but before I go in I just want to mention I don't do all my shopping at Costco I go to a couple different places to get my meat from a Japanese market um, I get some stuff from Whole Foods I get some stuff from Trader Joe's so I didn't want to go crazy I didn't want to try to make it look fancy I just wanted to to be authentic and show what I get from Costco and some items that maybe I've only found at Costco which can help on a ketogenic diet. So um, there's gonna be some food items missing, but again, this is strictly what I buy bulk from Costco. Let's get in there. I don't like it. I love it, love it, love it. Uh oh. So good it hurts. I don't want it. I gotta, gotta have it. Uh oh. I can't find the words that just go. I don't like it. No, I love it. I don't like it. No, I love it. It's so good in your Oh, I'll turn the beat up. Hey, now I'm glad to meet ya. Turn up, girl, blow the speaker. Yeah, I think about it now, blow the speaker. I'll speak down, let's get round tonight. Be in there, bottle sweet. This right here, guys, is what you call a keto lunchable. This thing will save you when you're on the go. Strange 
So don't let me, don't let me, don't let me down I think I'm losing my mind now It's in my head Darling, I hope that you'll be here When I need you the most So don't done here at Costco. Um, it's a little difficult to film at Costco. There's a lot of people here. Um, tried to film as continuous as possible, but at certain points people thought I was filming them, so they cut it off. Um, so it's pretty standard, a lot of this stuff. You got your, your veggies, your lettuce. Um, you got some, some power greens over here, some broccoli, some asparagus, avocado. Uh, warning on the avocado, the avocado is usually um, not even close to being ripe. So it takes about three days for your Costco avocado to actually be ripe enough to eat. So plan ahead. Um, get this big tub of Philadelphia cream cheese. My wife is a wizard when it comes to cream cheese. I mean, she can make pancakes out of it. She, she puts it in the food. She stuffs peppers with it. Um, she even stuffs burgers with it. it it's the most amazing thing ever. Um, so definitely look up some of those keto recipes because you will not go wrong with that. I like to get some some dry salami um, and I like to get some of these little cheese platters. I also get shredded cheese and usually a couple different cheeses, Irish cheese. I usually get mozzarella uh, but I didn't get it today. I just got into these lamb shanks. If you like lamb, these are awesome and you don't have to cook it. The couple times that I've tried to cook lamb um, in the crock pot, I've stunk up the entire house, so I've been banned from doing that. So I just wanted to pinpoint a couple items, that, um, and these are kind of the main reasons why I come to Costco. Uh, the bacon, the price on their bacon is amazing. I mean, you're not going to beat it at any of the grocery stores. Um, the four packs, they're like eight bucks. It's not even eight bucks. Um, then I get these chicken patties. 
The funny thing is with these chicken patties, I don't make burgers usually. I usually just have them as a side dish. That way I don't have to cook a protein. I do the same thing with these Angus burgers. So when I want to make an actual burger, I just get ground beef. Um, but what I use these for is quick meals. If I don't feel like cooking, I'll just warm this up. Sometimes I chop it up and throw it with my, with whatever side dish I'm having. Sometimes I just eat it like that. These things right here, I don't know how you pronounce that brand, Soterio, um, but these are these are amazing. We take these with us whenever we're, we're gonna be out and about. You can carry like a little cooler, you know what I mean? You can throw these in there, they're perfect snacks. Costco I find has the best price on macadamia nuts. This bag is like $13 and it is 24 ounces. So it's a very good deal. Usually you find that at Target and other places a fifth the size of this for about eight dollars. So that's an awesome deal. These low carb tortillas, if you're doing keto and you don't know about low carb tortillas yet, you're missing out. Um, these are phenomenal. They're about six net carbs, I think. Uh, per tortilla so it's still a little high but if you don't know man some tortillas have upwards of 90 carbs um, it sounds crazy but it's, it's true I wish I was lying about that uh, some Himalayan pink sea salt I also mess around with like Hawaiian black lava salt but it's a little harder to find this Himalayan pink sea salt it's amazing and salt if you don't know yet, is crucial on a ketogenic diet because it's harder to retain fluids without all that glucose, so it's going to help. And the last thing I wanted to pinpoint was coconut oil. This is 84 fluid ounces for less than $10. Um, usually, again, you're getting a fifth the size of that for nearly the same price, so excellent deal. They were missing a few items that I wanted to talk about, cauliflower rice being one of them, also uh, their cauliflower, and Kirkland makes these protein bars that are very similar to Quest. They're like four net carbs, same as Quest, but they don't mess with my stomach the way most of the sugar alcohol substitutes do, so I wanted to pinpoint them, but they're out of all that, so maybe another time. Well, all right, people, there you have it. That was the Costco Keto Haul. I'm a little disappointed that they didn't have certain products there, like my cauliflower rice. Um, anyone that's listened to the podcast or watched some of the earlier YouTube videos knows that I'm a huge fan of cauliflower. It's probably the first vegetable that I really got into on a ketogenic diet, so I love it. It's very versatile. You can do a lot with cauliflower. Um, but unfortunately, they didn't have cauliflower or rice cauliflower. They also didn't have the protein bars there, which are like the Kirkland version of Quest bars. Those are awesome. I wanted to show those off. Um, for people that are maybe sensitive to sugar alcohols, like, like I tend to be, those are awesome because they, they don't mess with me. I don't know what kind of sugar alcohol they're using, but um, it doesn't bother me the way even a Quest bar tends to at times. So I wanted to show that off, but uh, they just didn't have it, unfortunately. Maybe I'll show it in another video another time. Um, what I did want to do is I wanted to do like a some tips and tricks and pointers for grocery shopping on a ketogenic diet because I, there is an, an overall approach I feel that will help you regardless of where you shop whether it's Costco or Japanese market or Target or Walmart it really doesn't matter there's a certain approach I feel um, that helps but I have a feeling this video is already gonna go long and I know people really don't like to watch long videos so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this off here and I'm gonna do, I guess you can call it like a part two. We won't call it part two, but it's basically gonna be a part two. And and that one is just be me sitting in my living room and just gonna go over some pointers and tips and tricks and different things to help you when you're grocery shopping at any place on a ketogenic diet. Um, as always, that audio will also be on the podcast. You can find it in iTunes under Neanderthal Radio. I do other podcasts as well under the same Neanderthal radio. We do a sports one with me and my best friend. Uh, his name's Alex. Uh, we also do just a general weekly one, which sometimes we talk about keto, but not always. But if you look in under Neanderthal radio, everything that has to do strictly with keto is called the ketogenic diet review. So you can check those out. Everything from week one to week 39 now, um, I've done a weekly recap. And so there's good information there, especially for anyone starting out. Um, so you can check that out as well. And then just look out for part two of this video. I'll put it up on YouTube. 
and I'll also put it up in the podcast. Thank you for watching my video. Have a great day.